top five here in the Driscoll elimination. Come back next week for the Driscoll final. John Bothy, the Iron Man, will call the action here at the Meadowlands. How are you doing tonight, John? Oh, doing good, Bruce. Got a nice, warm, humid night, so look for a real fast time in this elimination. We saw two sub-150 miles last week. Here they come for the Driscoll elimination. And uh, they're off. Misfit for the lead. Up on the outside, stand forever with G.G. Digger in third around the first turn. And Campbell would stand forever in a bid for the lead. Misfit on the inside, second with G.G. Digger, third. And then it's two to Racing Fun, fourth. Another two back, California Connection. Naked Gunner, trail sixth. They're by the quarter, and Campbell would stand forever on the lead by two and a half. With Misfit second, opening quarter, 27 and one. Straight away down the back stretch, and stand forever. Leads it by two. Misfit. The one elimination last year sits second with G.G. Digger third. And the two and a half to Racing Fund in fourth. California Connection fifth. And Naked Gunner. They approach the half and Campbell sitting comfortably with Stan Forever. Showing a length and half lead over a pocket sitting misfit. Two to G.G. Digger. Half 56 seconds. Stan Forever should have a lot in the tank. Leads it by a length and a half. Misfit second with G.G. Digger in third. Nobody's made a move yet. Racing Fund in fourth. California Connection to the outside fifth. And Naked Gunner. They approach three quarters and stand forever with the lead. Here comes G.G. Digger and Parker. Three quarters and 124. They're at the top of the stretch. And stand forever feeling the heat. G.G. Digger blows right on by. And G.G. Digger and Parker to the front by two. California Connection second from between horses. Misfit in deep stretch. It's G.G. Digger in front in 151. And Bruce, the surprising thing about that, stand forever as I looked at the back of the pack, finished last. So stand forever does not qualify for next week's final. That's a shocker, Bruce. Okay. So the winner is G.G. Digger, driven to victory by Howard Parker. And G.G. Digger got the rail, and the son of Dignitary got the job done impressively in the stretch. <laughs> G.G. Howard Digger. Parker did indeed do exactly what he wanted to do as he puts on the American Championship Harness Series okay. cap. Right now, let's go to Gary Seibel. Right now in the winner's circle with driver Howard Parker and trainer Paul Jessup on my right. First, we're going to talk to driver Howard Parker. We spoke to you earlier, earlier Howard, and you mentioned that this is the way you wanted the horse to race. It was, it was a beautiful drive. Thank you. He, uh, the, aside from the drive, the horse just, he just came up huge tonight. And he did everything he wanted to do. It looked like at the beginning that he wanted to go for the lead. You looked like you wanted to take him back and get some cover, get some other horses in front of you. Well, he just, uh, he's got a real hot fuse and it burns real fast. So you got to save it for as much as, as long as you can. Well, you have to be real pleased with this effort from G.G. Digger. Yeah, well, you know, my, this last two or three efforts here have been very good. So uh, he likes pace on and uh, tonight there wasn't a lot of pace on, but he can, like Howard said, he can sprint pretty hard. So we're happy. Great. Congratulations to both Howard Parker and trainer Paul Jessup. Right now we're heading back to Bruce. Owned by Arlene and Gerald Gellerman and Cyril For the lead and Lola to get Green. to the top. Uh, your thoughts, did it take much out of the horse? No, not at all. That was really an easy quarter for those kind of horses. And at the half, I thought he'd win by open lengths. He felt that strong, but he just didn't respond at the head of the stretch uh, the way he normally does. When did you know in that stretch that he really didn't have enough horse? Uh, he, just before we come off the turn, uh, uh, I knew uh, we were in trouble. He, he didn't have any pace and uh, didn't act anything like he did last week. It's, uh, something uh you know going wrong whether he's a little sick or something it's uh, it's hard to keep them at the top of their game every week these horses can go 54 to the half when they went 56 that must have made you feel pretty good that you were in good shape yeah i felt strong he's, he's pacing sound and uh really just gliding along there and i didn't think uh i didn't think they'd ever get to him the, the way the fractions worked out the disappointment of not qualifying for the final well certainly you hate to miss out on a a race the main thing is to to get him healthy and uh back to his regular form all right thank you john thank you bruce G.G. Digger, your race winner, and G.G. Digger went off at odds of 7-2 to two and returned 9-20, 4-60, and 4-20.